my name is Yas Izrawal. Welcome to my channel, IT Professional. This is an introduction for two series of videos that will cover the two exams. 70-336, Core Solutions of Microsoft Wing Server 2013, and 70-337, Enterprise Voice and Online Services with Microsoft Wing Server 2013. The file communication system means is that you can take emails, voicemail, phones, video conferencing, web conferencing, and instant messaging. Take all that and put it in one product or a series of products together and create what is known as the unified communications system. In the world of Microsoft's unified communications platform, Microsoft released Microsoft Link Server, which is the communications software that introduces many new features. There are two versions of Microsoft Link, Microsoft Link 2010 and Microsoft Link 2013. With the updates of Link Server 2010 to Link Server 2013, there are many new features included we are going to focus here on Link Server 2013. What do you need to run Link Server 2013? We need first Windows Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1 64-bit edition or Windows Server 2012 64-bit. Also we need the physical box which is recommended from Microsoft. For the RAM we need 32 gigabytes at least of RAM. We need CPU dual processor, hexa-core 2.6 gigahertz or more. For the disk, we need 8 disk or more, 10,000 RPM retake per minute, and the 72 gigabit free disk space. For the software, we need Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 and Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 redistributable package 64 for the NIC card we need two NIC card network interface card one gigabit per second the user account that is running to install the link server must be a member of domain admins group for the administrative tools on the link server 2013 we have the link server control panel that can configure up to 90 percent to 95 percent we say that because link server control panel cannot configure and do in RPAC, which is role based access control, for example, and cannot do, for example, create an announcement. This is just as an example. For the link server management shell, this can configure everything up to 100%. Link server topology builder we have also central management database link server control panel this is in an image which consists for doing enable on the users we have here users topology instant messaging and presence persistent chat voice routing voice features response groups conferencing clients federation and external access we can configure also here monitoring and archiving we can configure security we can also configure network configuration for the link server management shell we have here this image for link server management shell which is powershell version 2 We have here an image for Link Server Topology Builder. Here in this series of videos, we have two parts. The first part, which covers the exam 70 336 Core Solution of Microsoft Link Server 2013. This is uh, only the introduction. For the next videos, we're gonna cover the Link Server 2013 server roles. We have several roles for the Link server, for example, the front end server, the back end server, persistent chat, back end, persistent chat, persistent chat compliance. We have edge server, we have mediation server, we have director server. 
as you know there are two versions of Microsoft Link the first one is the standard edition and we have also the enterprise edition of course the standard edition it not have the high availability for the third video we have the linked site topology also we have the infrastructure requirements link features external user access persistent chat we have migration from link server 2010 to link server 2013 we have link server 2013 best practices analyzer we have monitoring and health configuration we have troubleshooting server roles and services we have also backing up and restoring link server 2013 for the next series of videos we're gonna talk the, about the 70-337 enterprise watch and online services with microsoft link server 2013 we're gonna talk about the enter train routing and site basics we're gonna talk also about walls routing and enterprise walls connecting to the pscn also we're gonna talk about voice application e 9 11 and the location services which is for emergency we're going to talk also about unified messaging which is in the role in the exchange server m and n interworking routing also we're going to discuss also the call admission control that's control the bandwidth we're going to talk also about Think Hybrid and Office Online and Monitoring and Archiving which is the last video for those users that they want to get certified with Microsoft we recommend that they pass 5 exams in order to get the MCSE Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert in Communication they have to pass 3 exams for 110, 411, 412 to get in Microsoft Certified Solution associated with Win Windows Server 2012 plus the two exams 336 and 337 or they can only pass two exams if they want to get only the certification of Link Communications MCP please subscribe to my channel in order to get the latest useful video i hope this is informative for you and i would like to thank you for watching